Well, I got my palm lights yesterday and look what came today from Eastwood. The latest powder order of Eastwood powder coating powders. Let's see what we have in here. So shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hotland Zone. And what I have here are eight more colors of Eastwood powder coat. I want to be able to give all of you out there a good selection of colors that you might want to choose from Eastwood. I want to test these for you and for me, of course, so that if these work in our normal vibratory tumbler or shake and bake methods, then they're going to be good for you to do the same thing. And you might want to try different colors. So I'm doing these to give you a good chance to see how these work. You don't want to buy a color and find out that that it doesn't work for you. Well, turns out the best way to buy these powders is in the one pound size because if you buy the half pound, it costs almost as much as a full pound. Like you might spend an extra $2, $2.50, $3 for a full pound compared to the cost of a half pound. The only advantage of buying the half pound is to give it to you in a little jar. But if you buy it in one pound, you get it in these kind of Ziploc bags. And that's fine. As long as we store these powders in 80 degree weather or less and 80% humidity or less. So store it cool and dry. That's what you want. They're going to be fine for a long, long time. Anyway, one of the criteria that I have is to select polyester powders. These are all polyester powders. They're not polyurethane, they're not the epoxy. Polyester powders, what you do is you go ahead and cure them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So that works for all of these. But I chose these polyesters because they tend to work fairly well and if you go with polyurethane, it may not work as well. These are tough, chip resistant, and they coat well and thin, but we'll see. Also, one of my criteria are that these are reasonably priced powders. They're in the nine, nine to twelve dollars a pound range. There are other powders that cost as much as twenty dollars a pound, and so I'm avoiding those. So these are in the nine to twelve dollar, maybe thirteen. There might be one that's fourteen dollars. This kind of thing. So these are more reasonably priced. So first up is this one here is called orange yellow. Nice bright color. That's kind of you can see the yellow and it's got the orange tinge to it. So this is one that has some good promise. Now we have Harbor Freight Yellow, which is a little deeper color than this, but the yellow doesn't, the Harbor Freight Yellow doesn't always coat perfectly, but it's a good powder. Let's see if this one's better. Then we have the Eastwood Gloss White. Now, as you know, the Harbor Freight White is really hard to use. Doesn't really cover well, it's kind of a blotchy look. We would like it to come out like this. So let's see if we can get that with the Eastwood White. This is Gloss White. Now, Eastwood has some powders that actually will take a clear coat after you do the powder coating of the main color. You'd put a clear coat on those. These don't require the clear coat. So the idea is to have one coat, one and done. One coat, thin, but covers, and it's done. That's what we want. So next up is the bright pink. And this is more of a reddish pink. And this is a great color. Should appeal to anyone who likes the pastel colors. Well, speaking of pastels, we have pastel blue here by Eastwood and again a polyester powder and not like the Ford light blue which is kind of like a, 
a, a more of a medium blue. This is a pastel blue, and uh, this should do very nicely for our use. Uh, let's see how this works. But now we have, in the same family, this happens to be the periwinkle gray. And it actually has a kind of a steely color to it. So it's not as much blue, it has, some, has a gray tone to it. So we'll see, another one of our pastel colors will go with this one. And then, let's pull this one out. This is the bird yellow, which is almost a yellow white. Very bright, yellowish, whitish, greenish tinge. It has some greenish in there. Anyway, this is called their bird yellow, and we'll look forward to trying this one out. See if this will give us this color. Then we have the aqua right here. This is their aqua blue. And it has a little tealish color in there. A little aqua greenish blue. So we'll give that a try. If it works well, you might want to give this one a try. Now I got the Eastwood Mirror Red because Loads of Bacon has already been using this and is recommending this. So uh, based on his recommendation, here's the Mirror Red. Should be fun using this one. It's kind of like the Harbor Freight Red. Doing the pot recording with these. Uh, take care and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.